success in life one one wants to make a contribution to society and uh, I think that is a purpose and I would say that is my purpose in life to to use my privileged position to assist uh, less privileged members of uh, society both in Kenya and in South Africa and, and generally in the world So we are here today to have different people who have known Fred in different uh, categories, to pay tribute to, them, to him, but also to celebrate his life. If we call him Fred, he insisted on being called Fred, not Professor Tieno. So we are here celebrating Fred's life. We are sad though at the way he's passed on but uh, the effect is had on our lives, stays with us forever. Father, we want to thank you that you are a good God. We want to thank you that you are a faithful God. We worship you, we adore you, because there is none other that deserves worship and praise other than you, Lord. We come before you, Lord, to remember the life of Professor Fred Otieno, to offer to you his family, Lord, and his friends, um, and all those who mourn at this point in time. I think it's been quite close to home to hear of Fred's passing, and um, um, it saddens us, but it's also a moment for us to reflect on his contribution, the life he has shared with us. It was on the 12th of December. 2019. I was sitting with Florence. We were at the leadership uh, workshop in Melders Drift. And um, it was around past two when she stood up quickly and she said, I've got to uh, take this call. And she went out. And when she came back, she said, they say Fred has collapsed. And she just took her back and ran. I could not even go and run behind her because I could see she was in a hurry. So I left her, we were almost about to finish. And when I called her, she was really, really very worried at that time in the afternoon, trying to understand and field calls from everybody at home. And um, as we were talking, um, she was also trying to get a flight to go home on the 13th of December, which she did in the morning and left and, uh, and only to find that it was not going to be. Fred was a legend. All of us are going through a very difficult time as we remember him. The best we can do is to leave his legacy so that his name is not wiped in this. Our kids, our grandchildren must learn about his deeds and all the things that he did. Fred you saw outside there during the day was so different from the guy who was giggling around here when we did our jokes. He was, we were so close here yeah, and it's so sad to see that this has actually happened to him and at such a time. I think the timing is the worst considering that Florence has lost two sisters in the last three months. Uh, that's why we were saying, that's why we really thought uh, that it's good to actually give an opportunity to friends and relatives and relatives who are unable to travel to actually come and be with the family spiritually, kind of. I remember uh, Professor Tieno as a guy, anything he touched, he did it exceptionally well. I mean, during the day, he was this serious academic who focused on work. And in the evenings, we had our fun we happen to have grown up in the same town, which is all Eldoret. Sadly enough, that's where he died also. So we grew up in Eldoret, and we had a lot of old memories that we kept on. We knew so many, we had common friends. So we kept on joking about our past, and it, it actually made us really feel good at the end of it all. When all this is said and done, uh, you know, when such a thing happens, everybody come around you and at least you feel comforted. But when 
comes the time when you bury and everybody left. That's when the pain begins. And those of us and those of who call themselves her friends, I think should make an effort uh, to give her support when she when she's back because that's when the pain really begins to to set in. I think that this is something that is obviously not very easy and a lot of us um, cannot imagine what you guys are going through right now. Um, you guys have lost a wonderful man in your father. I know how you used to interact with him several times and he used to come bombard his house um, with his daughters on several occasions throughout um, the varsity days. And um, I hope that in, those, in the moments when it does get hard for you guys, which I know it definitely will, um, you guys at least have the good memories um, of being with your father, being raised by your father to draw on when it does get difficult. At this moment, you know, I just pray that, you know, the Holy Spirit comforts you in this time and that you really draw strength from this. Um, and don't underestimate the, um, the assets of friends that you have, especially when you come back. You know, from my side, you know, Kevin, if there's any support you need, you know, if there's, you know, someone you want to chat to, you know, we haven't been in contact as, as much as we should have in the last uh, few years. But, you know, you know I, rem I remember, you know, the day my mom passed away, we used to sit right next to each other in class in Durban. And, you know, and Kevin, you know, he put his head on my shoulder and he said, you know, like, uh, things are going to be okay. And I think um, I'd like to extend that same courtesy you gave me uh, 20 years ago uh, when we were young, young guys uh, in high school. Everyone I was interacting with, apparently, was here because of Professor Tien. You talk to this one, he tells you he's here because Professor Tien organized. As much as he could, as she said, he, could, he might not do it himself, but he will give you leads to the person who is going to help you. And uh, I just feel that's the kind of humanity someone can really be blessed with. He was a blessed person. Yes, I found Prof to be someone who is very determined, someone who is very ambitious, and someone who pays quite a lot of attention to detail. Eh? And uh, the lighter side that uh, the colleagues are talking about, eh? I also found a bit of that. Although he used to have to be afraid in more official ways most of the time, but a few times you could just see how light he is, how happy he is. You know, that very light smile, you could see it a few times. I remember I've come to this house very many times, but it was, I've been to that other sitting room twice. <laughs> 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 Our situation used to end here. <laughs> And there was a rack of wine that was always <laughs> somewhere here. So this is what I know about this house. So <laughs> the other day I went there, I found myself very strange on the other side. Yeah. We are losing a very, a very big asset to our community as Kenyans in South Africa. And again, coming from Nyanza is one of the pillars I thought or we was developing Nyanza or academically with giving students opportunities to learn, scholarships to come to South Africa, and uh, generally upliving the standards of the community at home. To Florence, there's one who has grieved and knows what it means to grieve, and that is Christ Jesus, and he's with you, and he knows what you're going through, and he will comfort you and take you through this difficult journey that as much as we are crying, we are crying indeed. And the Bible says that the man is to stay to die once and after death judgment. That means whatever you saw on earth, that's what is looking upon you after death. I believe uh, Prof sowed good seeds and anything you sow always shall grow. And that once someone leaves, they carry their good deeds. Prof did so much, so he is carrying all the good deeds he has with him. And you can also remember him in that awareness, all the good things we did together. And uh, doing that, you remember him in a good space, and I'm hoping you'll be able to do that. And also Fred, wherever he is, he'll be having some very good energy coming to him, and that is going to help him so much in his onward journey.
I want Florence to be very strong, and so are the keys, uh, Sheila, uh, Kevin, and Grace. They should be very strong, be very proud of their father, the way we are all very proud of him. God is faithful, and God will take care of them. We, his network, his friends, will take care of them. We'll be close to them and be with them all the time. So doors are open for you. Don't believe that now that Professor Tieno is gone, now that Fred is gone, it's the end of the life. No, we are here and we are here to support the family. Pray all the time. Read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Because in God you will find strength. God will not give you a load you can carry. And he will guide you. He will show you the way on how to remember Fred. We mustn't give up. We know that God is the pillar of strength. God is the pillar of courage. Don't give in. Don't think that God doesn't love you. That's why God loves you. And we all know that each and every one of us doesn't know when is the last day. If it's the call of, if it's the call of God, let it be. We just want to say, be strong, be courageous, work together in unity and stand up so that even Mr. Odieno, the professor, by the way, ends knowing very well that the family is happy. You know, as somebody who contributed to the well-being of mankind, somebody who helped uh, uh, others, uh, less, less fortunate members of society, and somebody who uplifted and empowered uh, fellow human beings. That really would be how I would like to be remembered.